What day of the week is it? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday. Okay, if you don't know where that's from, uh, you got to go back and watch. I think it was 1997 or 1998. You've got mail. Um, it's a uh, it's kind it's a chick flick. You know, definitely has Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan in it. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies. I like those chick flick type, you know, feel good type movies. Anyway, welcome to chess, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so as you guys know, uh, let me just check right quick. Let me just make for sure. Because last time I looked at it, yeah, we're still in the same position. We got uh, Hikaru Nakamura, what's he so? Magnus Carlsen uh, in the lead with six and a half points each. And the Air Things uh, Chess, uh, the Air Things Masters, the Champions Chess Tour. Uh, now, I appreciate you guys coming through, watching my videos. Uh, my stuff is doing really good. Uh, so I appreciate that a lot. And as always, let me get the thing right. As always, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, thank you so much for everybody subscribing to me uh, and watching my stuff. Uh, I, I, I might just be there. You never know. Uh, but also, I mean, in the comments, let me know what you think of the of the video. Uh, let me know what you think of the analysis, uh, just everything I have, like the layout, everything I have on the screen, uh, so I can kind of know what's good and what's not good. Um, and always at the end of the video, I have the uh, the chess puzzles for you guys. I have the answers to the previous one, and I have a brand new one for you uh, for those gotta have it diehard chess fans. Uh, but if you're ready, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have for this game here. Bam, we got D4, Knight to F6, C4, E6, Knight to F3, D5, Knight to C3. Uh, so we have the Queen's Gambit uh, on the board. Uh, and now, of course, as you guys know, I mean, we have Pawn Tanks here. That's the Queen's Gambit accepted. Uh, we got the semi slob We got the semi Uh Not sure what this one's called. Yeah, let me know if you know. I don't, I don't know what that one's called. Uh, I don't know. Tarash? Tartakau or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, so we have many different options going from here. Uh, and of course, as you guys know, this isn't a gamut of a pawn because you're going to get this nice pawn center. Uh, so uh, we have C5. So that's the semi Uh Now, this one has about 3,300 games in the database. Uh, and C6 um, is a much more heavily played. I think there's like 26 or 28,000 uh, games in the database with this. It's actually a little bit more solid. Um, but, uh, you know. At the end of the day, uh, when you're choosing your openings, uh, don't get so bent on uh, the uh, you know the computer's analysis of the opening. Um, it's always good, of course. You know, there's some openings that are just way better than other openings. Uh, but you, one thing you have to understand is that you're playing a human being when you're playing the game. Uh, so at the end of the day, um, you know, it's going to come down to how the human is actually reacting to what you're playing. Uh, so when you have minor differences, like let's say you have plus plus four or you know, plus 0.4, or plus 0.2 or something. I mean, that's not so huge of a difference where it's just going to automatically mean you lose the game. So going back to what we had, we did have C5. And so we see pawn takes D5, pawn takes D4. We got queen takes D4, pawn takes E5 or D5, uh, bishop to G5. And we have bishop to E7. We got E3. Uh, so as you can see, uh, white is, uh, you know, just going to be developing the bishop at some point uh, and they're gonna, probably going to get castled on this side here. And so we see castles, and we see bishop to e2, knight to c6, knocking the queen. So queen comes back to d3. Uh, we got h6, uh, and we have bishop takes f6. And this is actually the novelty of the game. Uh, this is the first time that this position has been seen. Uh, what we've seen in the past is uh, instead of bishop takes, uh, we've seen bishop to h4. Uh, so I believe there was either one or two games in the database where it was that. Um, so, you know, it's... Uh, like I said, it's not losing. Um, it's, it's definitely very strong for uh, for both sides. I mean, both sides are doing pretty uh, pretty legit here. Uh, so we see rook to d1. Uh, we're trying to make sure that we stop this pawn from moving. Uh, so we see knight back to e7. All right, so we have e4. Bishop takes c3. Queen takes c3. Uh, bishop to e6. And we just have castles for white. Uh, so as you can see, you know, white is doing very good. Uh, you know, they have all their pieces developed. Uh, they have this pawn. Uh, pin to the queen uh, because you know the queen's not going to move uh, because you're just going to be down a crazy amount of material um, so we see a uh, queen to b6 uh, sidestepping uh, all of that and then also uh, you know connecting the rooks uh, putting a little bit of pressure on this pawn here 
uh, and now the, uh, the queen is kind of in a question mark situation. Uh, so we see e5. We're resolving that tension now because, uh, you know, when the pawn was pinned before, uh, you know that the, the pawn was never going to take. Uh, but now that the queen has moved, they've unpinned themselves. So uh, now we have to resolve that, uh, that tension there. And so we see rook a to c8, queen to d2, knight to c6. We got h3. Uh, you know, that's just clearly just uh, making sure that we protect this, uh, you know, this knight. Because as you can see right now, the knight is holding this pawn. And so if we're able to, you know, maybe move bishop g4 and remove the knight, uh, it's just going to just give us a pawn here. Uh, so h3 stops that. And also, you know, just going into the future of the game, uh, it creates Luft. Uh, which, as you guys know, um, Luft uh, is German for air. Uh, and, uh, you know, it just gives the king a little bit of breathing room to make sure that we don't have any back rank issues. Uh, it's always worth the tempo. It's definitely not a waste of tempo at all. So going forward, we have d4. Uh, we have uh, bishop to d3, uh, kind of blockading the pawn a little bit. Uh, you know, as you guys know, uh, when you have pass pawns, they must be pushed. Uh, I'm not sure who said that. Pass pawns, I think it might have been Aaron Nimzovich that said that. I don't know. I'm going to look that up after this game, uh, after this video, and see what we got. Uh, so we have uh, bishop to d5. Uh, so we have rook f to e1, uh, rook f to e8. Now, these rook movements, like I say before, guys, uh, you know, you want to make sure that when you're moving knights or you're moving uh, rooks, you want to make sure that you're noting which one actually moved because, as you guys can see, um, either one of these, uh, either one of these rooks had the ability to move here, and then the same thing with these rooks. Either one could have moved. So you definitely want to say rook f to e8 or rook uh, c to e8. You know, whichever one moves, so that way you don't mess up your analysis when you're looking at your game later. Uh, bishop to e4, got rook c to d8. Uh, so we have b3 and we have a5. So queen to f4. Uh, so everything seems to be going pretty good uh, for both sides. Um, you know, like I said, they both. They both have developed all their pieces. Their kings are safe. Um, and, uh, you know, these rooks, you know, kind of connecting both of these rooks up. Uh, these rooks are influencing, um, you know, the files that could potentially become open at some point in the future. Uh, so pretty, pretty even, pretty even. Uh, so we have bishop takes e4, rook takes e4. Uh, we have queen to c5. Uh, we have rook d to e1. And we have rook to e6. Um, so now if we back up, uh, a move. Um, if you want to go ahead and pause the video um, and see what you would play here as black, um, it's not something that Wesley so missed, um, or it's not something that Daniel Duboff missed. Am I? Am I? Wait, this is the wrong. Uh -huh. Boy, this isn't set up right. This is not the right. Crap. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. That's tight. 